Cape Town has long prided itself in having some of the best quality water in the world. But supplies have been under severe strain, with record low rainfall and dam levels. It's the worst that we've seen in the past hundred years in terms of the, the levels of water that we're experiencing uh, currently. We all fear for the worst and that's why once again, you know, we have today called on uh, the national uh, government uh, to declare this an emergency disaster area because of the risk that we face and then call for help from national and provincial to assist us in this crisis situation. The mayor has also outlined plans to deal with the crisis in the long term. She says the city has started lowering pump pressure across large areas of Cape Town and that a multi-million dollar water supply scheme will be built in the next few years. Another possible solution is a desalination plant. We'll certainly ask the, the, the minister to help us with the high capital cost of one to make our spring water, to make that drinkable, to help us with our desalination plant, to help us to treat effluent um, wastewater, make that uh, uh, treatable so that we could uh, pump that back into our dams. Mayor DeLol has urged Cape Townians to continue conserving water as they had done since restrictions were imposed last year. And they'd again make a special appeal from the bottom of my heart to all Cape Townians, please help us. We are in this boat together and you know we are going to all suffer together. Uh, and to those that are using less water, thank you very much because that is to help us to save our city. Cape Townians face heavy fines for watering their gardens, washing their cars and topping up their swimming pools with potable water. And the drought is so serious, authorities are encouraging religious leaders to pray for rain. Renato Kam, CGTN, Cape Town, South Africa.